50 excel formulas in 50 days day 10 Here is a reverse lookup situation. I've got some customers and their sales information. And if I want to find out, for example, customer 11's very first transaction, we can use XLOOKUP. And we all know that any kind of lookup always finds the very first record. So in this case, customer 11 has multiple records, but this is gonna always come back with 855. What if I want to get the last value? So in this table, I have got many records for customer 11, but this is the number that I'm after. That means the lookup should happen in this direction. So this is where there are two formulas that we could use. One is with XLOOKUP, the other is with the good old index match. Here is the XLOOKUP formula. We say XLOOKUP, the customer ID, and the column in which our customer IDs are, and the sales column for the return value. And here is the kicker. We are gonna say for the search mode, which is the last parameter, you can see that by default XLOOKUP does a first to last search, but you can also ask it to do a last to first search. So that's what we are gonna do. We are gonna say minus one here to go from last to first. And when you hit enter, you'll get $1,350, which is the value for customer 11. Now, how do we do this if we don't have XLOOKUP? You can also use index match. Here is the index match formula. Index of the sales column match two one divided by the customer ID is equal to the value that we are look, trying to look for. So this column is equal to that value and we do a check of that and we divide that with one. What this is gonna do is it's essentially gonna calculate a bunch of true or false values and one divided by that essentially gonna end up with either zeros or ones and match is going to look for two. Now two won't be in this list, it will be either ones or zeros. So it keeps looking for two and wherever is the last one, which would be the last record for the customer, that's what we are gonna get. So that's the 1170 again. Let's see this value for customer 11, 1350 and 1350. How cool is that?